Hello guys, I am Dipali Ponikar. Welcome you all in this session. Uh, I am talking about uh, aerial photography. Okay. So before I go through that explanation, uh, I tell you one thing that is uh, I have one miracle which is based on the aerial photography. So after this explanation, I go through that. Now, what is meant by aerial photography? The aerial term which is related to air and photo means light, graphy means writing. Okay. Since from the first world war, the terrestrial photography has been replaced by aerial photography. Now we will call it as um, uh, aerial surveying. The most of the uh, development work has been done with the aeroplane. Okay. Now, aerial photography means the taking a photograph from the ground on the elevated position uh, or usually uh, the camera is not supported by the ground structure or ground based structure okay now it is the most common method and versatile economical from remote sensing the aerial photography and its planning generally include a selection of type of aeroplane and camera trend of run film and filter combination okay second the advantages of this uh, uh, aerial photography is mainly of two type that is first one is the that the survey work can be carried out with the great speed the work we have to carry out that is the survey work we have to carry out with the great speed okay and it can be used with the great success for other purposes such as a classification of land and soil geographical geological and archaeological investigation etc okay most of the conventional photography uh, is done at the one is two 30,000 to 1 is to 60,000 scale. Okay. The scale of photograph further depend on the objective of work, the type of camera lens being used and the speed of aircraft and its flying height. Okay. A good aerial photograph must have a certain standard of geometrical accuracy. Okay. Now. The aerial photography is uh, uh, based on uh, two terms that is first one is the crab as shown in given figure okay uh, the crab means the it is the term used to designate the uh, angle formed between the flight lines and the crab of photograph or the edges of crab of photograph okay in the direction of flight line as you can see here that okay at the time of exposure if the focal plane of camera is not square with the direction of light the crab occur in the photograph the arrangement are of always made to rotate the camera about the vertical axis of position okay mount to correct the crab so the cramming should be eliminated since it reduces the effective coverage of photograph okay now second one is the drift sorry see as you can see here the drift drift is the lateral shifting of photograph so the lateral shifting of photograph is caused by failure of photograph to stay to predominant flight lines if the aircraft is set on the course of compass without allowing for wind velocity and it will be drift from its course and the photograph shall be um, shall be as shown in given figure okay if the drifting from the predominant flight lines is excessive the reflight will have to mean because of the serious gapping between the uh, adjacent flight lines okay as you can see here now I proceed uh, toward the numerical as I told you that the I have one numerical that is uh, on based on the aerial photography so um, a section line AB appears on the to the uh, 10 is to 1 6 centimeter on the photograph for which focal length is 16 centimeter this uh, distance is 10.16 that is the photo distance and the focal length is at the distance of 16 centimeter the corresponding line measured that is a 2.54 centimeter on the map which is at the scale of 
वन बाय फिफ्टी थाउजेंड द टेरन हैज एन एवरेज एलिवेशन ऑफ टू हंड्रेड मीटर फ्रॉम आबुदी मीन सी लेवल ओके नाउ यू कैन सी हियर इन दिस डायग्राम दी हैव टू कैलकुलेट दी फ्लाइंग हाइट ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट आबुदी मीन सी लेवल वेन द फोटोग्राफ वॉज टेकन ओके नाउ दिस डिस्टेंस ए बी शोज द फोटो डिस्टेंस that is 10.16 and map distance is that ab is at the distance of 2.54 okay focal uh, length that is a 16 cm uh, 0.16 meter and the height that is a elevation uh, equals to 200 meter uh, this elevation uh, as you can see here that uh, this elevation is from mean sea level to the section line okay ab is our section line and this is our mean sea level okay now the relation between the photo scale and map scale photo scale uh, upon map scale equals to photo distance upon map distance as we know that the value of photo distance map distance and map scale so we have to calculate the value of photo scale okay now the put the value of this uh, known term that is uh, photo distance is 10.16 and map distance is 2.54 and the map scale is 1 by 50000 okay uh, after putting this value we get the value of photo scale that is s is equals to 1 upon 12500 the scale of photograph for terrain lying at the any height h is s is equals to f upon h minus h this um small h is the elevation from um mean sea level to the uh, section line okay so we know the value of uh, photo scale focal length and uh, uh, elevation so we have to calculate the value of flying height of altitude okay h is equals to so after this putting this value we get the value of h that is h is equals to 200 2200 meter Okay thank you keep watching and keep learning